Hello and welcome to Hearthstone Top 5. My name is Benjamin Hero and today we'll be discussing the top 5 cards that put you on tilt. Being on tilt means entering an angry or frustrated state of mind because of a big unlucky event happening to you. For example, Tusca Totemic always seeming to get the right totem to screw you over. <laughs> Needless to say, this list might trigger some fun <laughs> memories. At number 5, we have Reno Jackson. Rena Jackson has the ability to heal you up to full and you just know that any card with a text like that is bound to leave some players bitter and tilted. That's why it's not so uncommon to see other players actually instantly concede the second they see Reno come down onto the battlefield. Reno Jackson, top there. This gun. Oh. Well, Gallus! Yes! GG Reload! Top that Reload Jackson! That's why most Argo players go for their prey, he doesn't have Reno Root. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> they always have Reno. He's got Reno what? Jackson! No way! What? Oh! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, did that actually happen? Unbelievable! Oh, we're lucky! <laughs> <laughs> At number four, we have Divine Favor, or as more commonly known as Divine Funnel Cakes. Favor. I mean, seriously, look at the amount of hate this card gets on Reddit. Divine Favor is the closest you can get to being on benefits in Hearthstone. You can squander all your cards only to have your deck put you on the same level of cards as your opponent who had to wait patiently to get each of their cards. This freeloading effect is what makes Divine Favor such a wonderfully tilting card. I mean, seeing your opponent go from almost basically no hand to, to a full hand is just a bit tilting. <laughs> just a tiny bit. But yeah, maybe next turn I want to... My favor. Oh my god, did that actually happen? Unbelievable! Yeah, we're lucky! <laughs> <laughs> At number three, we have Flame Striker. Flame Strike has been tilting players since 2014, and it's the original Hearthstone card to really put players on tilt. When I first started playing Hearthstone and I witnessed one card wiping up my whole board. It was like losing my tilting virginity. <laughs> and in arena, <laughs> in arena, flame strike can be crazy. Why? Because you can have more than two. One time Crip managed to draft seven flame strikes. Seven frigging flame strikes. <laughs> oh man. Although flame strike is nowhere near as tilting as it used to be, because players have started to play around it more and more. It will still always be remembered as the original Hearthstone card to put players on tilt. At number two, we have Knife put the Juggler on your head. and Flame Waker and Flame Juggler and Ragnaros and pretty much any other card that deals random damage. Because the feeling of tilt when RNG does not go your way is immeasurable. Oh, the thing is, Leroy might die to the knife juggler. That's I a, know. That's the tricky part here. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Yeah. He Inner would, rage from battle rage represents lethal. He would have to attack first before. He, oh man, this is. So oh man. Oh boy. I'm scared. Oh, no, it's no. still green. Wait, it's not. It's not. Oh my oh, god. It both oh. hit. He's done. It actually hit. Oh, oh. oh my god, did that actually right happen? Oh, Unbelievable. Oh, Life is hard. <laughs> Knife Juggler, for example, has caused some very real PTSD for a very popular streamer called Raynad. Knife Juggler is the reason I don't trust short people. When Knife Juggler was nerfed from a 3 2 to a 2 2, Raynad still had some very strong feelings for the card. Never have I, like, so wanted 
a digital card to be able to feel real pain. Did you bring some face? It's worth keeping that yeah. potential source of damage. Maybe he wants to get some more uh, like hero powers in for that thing. Really big impact cards like Manatite Totem or uh, Totem Golem come off of it. Flame Song also being pretty strong. I'll probably put it in time for him. Whenever you hear, do you Did want you some, bring fish? some fish? Followed by brrrr. <laughs> that sound, grrr. After hearing, do you want some fish? When, when you hear that, you're just questioning yourself. Why am I still playing this game? I mean, whenever you see Tasker Totemic being played, you always hold your breath, hoping and praying that it's not gonna be one of these powerhouse totems. But, as we all know, they always get the right totem. Well, this, this could be pretty important. If AK Wonder can roll like a Manatai totem and then force her card out of KC, he can climb back in the resource count, which yep. is what Shaman wants to do. Oh, and there's the Manatai totem. Oh my god, so, that actually happened! Unbelievable! Oh, we're lucky! <laughs> <laughs> the reason why Tusk Satemic is number one is because the feeling of potentially losing the game as early as turn three is a bit much and that's it thank you for making it to the end i mean i really do appreciate it if you like what you saw and you want to see more content please think about subscribing it will do a whole bunch for the channel and of course as usual you can check out last week's episode where i talk about the top five failed tech cards in Hearthstone. Also, I would like to thank a user called Daniel Yo, who gave me this idea for the top five toting videos in the comments from last week. So, if you guys, if you get, so again, guys, if you have any comments in terms of what videos I should do, leave below in the comments. Also, there's still some time for you to submit your questions for the 5K special Q&A that's coming up, I believe, next week. That's coming, that's coming up next week. And for feedback for this week, could you please tell me in terms of why you chose to subscribe to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet, why you haven't yet sub subscribed. I'm always curious about the information and please, please give me your feedback even if you don't comment usually. This question, I would highly appreciate your input. And of course, I've respond to every question. Again, people, thank you for your support and passion. I'll see you all next week. Adios, boys and girls. <laughs> Till then.